Ukraine. General Keith Kellogg on that. What do you think, General? Well, Neil, I would probably tell the, the Russians if we were involved, we would have succeeded if that's what we did. It, it, I don't buy that at all. It's a false flag operation. Let me give you a couple of reasons why. One, the Kremlin's pretty large. When you look at the size of the Kremlin, it's about 70 acres. The White House is about 20 acres. So it's almost three to four times the size uh, of, of the White House. And there, there was only two drones involved. Most people will understand if you're going to take and hit a serious target, you'll do multiple drones. They call it a swarm attack. Sort of like what the uh, Iranians did against the Saudis in the oil production facilities in 2019 when they lost massive amounts of drones on a target. That's what you do. I think what, what they've done is they're trying to develop some sympathy within Russia that the Ukrainians are doing something like this. And it, we should have reacted differently. And, and what I mean by react differently, Neil, is this is when you basically tell them we caught you with your hand in the cookie jar. Don't do this because they're trying to figure a way that they can react against Ukraine in a very, uh, very massive manner with either more missiles or more uh, strikes from their bombers or going after Zelensky. And the reason they want to go after Zelensky, and I think it's important they want to do this, is because he's really the center of gravity for Ukraine. Without Zelensky, Ukraine will have a real problem continuing to, uh, to develop an offensive against the Russians. I wouldn't worry about Putin. The, the, really, the center of gravity in Russia is their arm. I'm seeing the center of gravity in Ukraine is the Russian army, and that's what Zelensky needs to be focused in on. So, do I believe it was an operation uh, that was done externally from the United States, supported by the Ukrainians, the Ukrainians supported by the U.S.? Not at all. I believe it was a false flag, and I think it's, it just shows how foolish they were in trying to make people believe this was an effort by somebody outside Russia to do it. Um, what if it's somebody inside Russia? What if it wasn't a false flag at all, but a false premise? Yeah, yeah well, that that would not surprise me at all, because I think the oligarchs are getting a little bit upset with, with Putin on his continuation of the war. But it's still a very, very poor effort. You know, if you're going to attack the Kremlin, again, it's a pretty hard target. The Kremlin's actually a fortress. It's an old fortress. And to do that with just a couple of drones, it's really just stupid. I mean, this was probably thought of a by an eight-year-old, because it sure wasn't effective at all. <laughs> uh, there's better ways to do this. I, I wonder, though, how secure is Vladimir Putin in his job? I, I, you know the internal yeah. makings and sentiment building in Russia. There's been a great rally around the leader thing, you know, for the better for, for what, 14, 15 months. This war has dragged on. What yeah. do you think? How stable is he in the Kremlin? Well, I think he is pretty stable. I think that we keep thinking that there's a lot of people against Putin. About 80% of the country of Russia is actually behind Putin. Some of the senior oligarchs are not. I'm sure some of the senior intelligence people in the Russian military are kind of concerned about it. He's gone through a lot of generals in Ukraine. He's now on his fifth general in Ukraine with Gerasimov, and I think he's the last one they're going to be able to use because he's the last effective one. So do I think there are people within Russia that are against Putin? Of course there are, but he's got an iron grip on the country. And I think what's going to happen, it's all going to be determined within the next few months. If he can successfully hold off the Ukrainian counterattack, he solidifies his position. It becomes an endless war without an end to it. Then he's going to be okay. But that's the reason I've said repeatedly, Neil, if you can defeat the Russian army in Ukraine, then Putin falls because that is the one thing that is holding them up, the success of the Russian military, if they long, as long as they can hold uh, their forces in position. But otherwise, he's got a real problem.